Welcome back. You're watching uh, The Roundtable and we're speaking to Mr. Sarat Ekanayakad, Chief Minister of the Central Province. And uh, Minister, now what was in the news very recently was the Data Kirula exhibition that started on the 4th of February. And from 4th of February to up to now, it has been a successful event. So what is your take on it and the fact that uh, this was the first time Data Kirula exhibition was taken out of Colombo and it was held in Pale Kale. So what sort of impact did this have? on the central province as well. Uh, when you talk about that, my sincere thanks goes to the His Excellency, the President, who has taken, uh, who has given us the opportunity to have this uh, first that exhibition out of uh, Colombo. Uh, it was a very successful exhibition, if I should say, because uh, if you take an index as the people who watched this or participated in this exhibition, so that if you take this as an index, so it, there were about 2 million people came to the exhibition from 4th to 10th. And apart from that, there were about uh, 15 uh, lakhs, 1.5 million students came to watch the Diatikirula. So it was uh, a big challenge, actually, when uh, the chairman of the committee, Honorable uh, Ranjit Siamalapitiya, came out with uh, his excellency's idea to have it in the province. So they selected uh, Kandy, the central province. Uh, now, when we have had this um, exhibition in BMICA, it, that location was already built up, and one, they, they didn't want to have any sort of constructions over there, just to have huts and everything. But here, we had to start from the zero and to go uh, to have uh, the complete location for the exhibition. Uh, meanwhile, we had uh, two locations actually. The uh, International Buddhist Center as, as well as our uh, Provincial Council building which is still build, uh, being built because it is not yet finished. But anyway, we took the challenge and we managed to give the, uh, the participants uh, the, who came out, came to the, all the ministries and the Provincial Council who came to the exhibition, they were given enough uh, places or locations to ex um, exhibit for their exhibits and same time the I must um, say this, this is the first time that uh, people came to an exhibition uh, without uh, uh, fear psychosis because uh, earlier there was everybody know this there was a war in this country uh, his excellency the president mind the Paksa who promised the country in 2005 that he will finish this war during such a period and he managed to do it within that period and so from after 18th of May last year people uh, move around with peace they didn't have any fear at all so that's how the data curula was so successful and so it's like an indicator of that sort of success that success, and success. because they, people didn't have any barriers so what we what they had to do is to co just come to the exhibition and watch everything and mainly in the exhibition itself there we saw that the, from the several ministries they they had the exhibits like uh, you know the, the in the exhibition they came out with the projects that they have been doing uh, within these four years now uh, even norochole uh, upper Kot Malay, those projects we are talking uh, in the media or in the newspapers likewise but the villages in our area the province they didn't see this now they had uh, the opportunity to see what is this project likewise the, the especially the during the war LTT carders they were having so many weapons I think I don't know whether even the army has seen this before they captured all this. So they were there at the, our exhibition. That was a very popular place everybody went because uh, those things actually in one way it's sad to see this because those are the weapons who killed so many youngsters of our nation. But same time we were uh, lucky to see this because our heroes, the war heroes of our country, they managed to capture all these things. So the, the Atukirila exhibition as a whole, if you take it. So it was a very successful exhibition, uh, which had, uh, which was, uh, earlier it was in the Colombo or Bandar Naik International uh, 
conference location, but this is the very first time that it came out from Sun. This is actually the idea of uh, His Excellency the President, but he wants to go to the village, everything should go to the village, villages. Uh, if we are talking about the development of the country, you can't just sit in an air conditioned room and talk about the development of the country without going to the villages. That's how he came with the Jatika Savi and Gamana Guma, and it is now implemented and it is very successful project. So, likewise, the villages, the, there's a single saying called uh, Gamata Kakiri, Kolamata Kiri, but now it is not the time. The that milk is the village is not village is, Yes, now it, it is included. You can't say it <laughs> anymore because it is everything is in the villages Devamala. So, um, Minister, now again, if we go back to the point where we uh, took a break from where we were speaking about the industrial policy of the central province, shall we also focus on the education sector, that is the central province school systems and uh, the teacher to student ratio and whether it is of a good standard and what areas are there for uh, improvement? Uh, Deepamala, if I talk about the some statistics about our province. So we have uh, 1,470 schools in our province. Uh, that is the largest amount in any province in the country. So same time we have around 30,000 teachers. Um, same time we have 517,000 uh, uh, children in uh, students in our province. So the teacher uh, pupil <laughs> ratio is too high actually it is about it is uh, about 16 to 1 like but that doesn't mean that we have enough teachers because in the remote areas for the subjects like English mathematics and science we are in short of teachers so what we are um, uh, talking about is an imbalance or a normally basically isn't it, it of the teacher student ratio and yeah. in some instances it is too much the other uh, times you have less teachers uh, yeah less teachers in the sense now what i am talking about the subject wise right uh, we have enough teachers but that, but that doesn't mean uh, the subject wise we have enough teachers. So what measures are you taking to address this situation? Now uh, there are two ways. One is uh, now uh, the central government is uh, recruiting some uh, science teachers and maths teachers are likewise and out of them we are getting uh, some allocation but it is not sufficient. Anyway um, we, ha we have thought of um, using the modern technology. Now. Uh, His Excellency's um, target is to get um, the computer literacy in the country 50% uh, by 2010 and every uh, 75 students, one computer for every 75 students, that is His Excellency's target, but we have reached that. Now we, we in the province by, <laughs> by now we have reached that. Uh, so, Sen when you say like all the uh, sectors in the central province mm -hmm. has reached that, is it? Uh, no, this is, I mean, talking about the computers, 75, yes, computers, 75 computers per computers, one, yeah. one child, uh, um, um, seven, one computer for 75 children. So, that target has, we have reached, but that doesn't mean that oh, it is distributed among everybody. But uh, anyway, what I wanted to say is this uh, developing the education in the province. So, we have taken uh, this modern technology uh, to the schools. Now, uh, we, I have about 159 schools which are communicating with me through emails. So, they have the internet, internet facilities and about uh, 60 schools now they have their own websites now and the same times we have some uh, uh, programs that uh, whether they have a teacher for the subject or not, but through computer they can study in the classroom. Same that is more like self-studying. Self-studying. And uh, then people might say that in the remote areas they don't know English, how can they use pro computers and all. But uh, we have a go very good example. We, uh, it is about 80 kilometers away from Kandy. Uh, the name is Mahalakotua Sumana Mahavidyalaya. That is a very remote area, very remote uh, village. But uh, the students, each and every student can use the computer. They are very 